Hey everyone, it is Sam's Grocery Haul today and today was another pretty close to $400 haul. We mostly stocked up on a lot of meat and then we also stocked up on a few other things that we had missed last week that we wanted to go ahead and fill our pantry, our fridge, and our house with to prepare for the winter ahead. So let's go ahead and cover just the raw meat products first so that I can clean the counter and get this put away, clean the counter again, and then show you what's left. So starters, uh, this is the same thing we bought last week, uh, the three pack of bacon we try to divide this up into multiple meals and I think yeah we do have one meal with this planned we do have a members only post that we do every single week 99 cents a month and above membership level where you will see breakfast lunch dinner dessert and snack included in that meal plan um, for again that's if you click the join button below that'll be under a members only post and it usually goes up the same day as whatever the first haul is so like if there's two hauls like there is this week where it's Aldi and Walmart on Tuesday and then Sam's on Wednesday you'll see the post on Tuesday but it's a grocery or it's a meal plan that covers both of those hauls um, and then also in the video I will specify stock up such as I did go ahead and pick up a double pack of the ground beef to put in the freezer because there's been a couple times while we were sick that we could have used like just ground beef and we didn't have it so I'm going to restock our freezer with some ground beef this week I wanted to get a roast for this week I'd already planned on it but when I got to Sam's they had these uh, amazing looking pork loins is it loin or tenderloin it's just a point pork loin um, on sale and it had like the you know the decent amount of fat on the back and then the pretty on the front so um we went ahead and picked one of these up it was a dollar 98 a pound so that'll be um in our meal plan for this week we also picked up a 10 pound bag of the frozen boneless skinless chicken breasts those work really well because you can pull them out individually and use them as you go and then we're also going to use some of these this week and the rest to go to our stock up um the ground angus beef patties let me put these away clean the surface wash my hands and then we'll move on to the next one 10 pound bag i should have looked because uh sometimes they have five pound at i think all day sometimes i get the five pound this time i did go ahead and get a 10 pound bag of idaho potatoes I'm looking forward to a special meal that we're doing with those this week. One bag of the Grand Southern Homestyle Biscuits. This is a freezer stock up. The fall themed paper plates are going to be safe for Thanksgiving week and the weekend after that. Um, because it just makes it easier to not have to worry as much about dishes. As is the reason why we went ahead and picked up a uh, stack of the uh, Ultra Paper Bowls. We decided to go with the bigger bowls where there's less per pack just in case we wanted to have like dinners that needed bowls instead of just like smaller bowls for like desserts and cereals and things um although we don't do a lot of cereal but sometimes we'll do like yogurt and granola the day after thanksgiving um also one bag of the not a chick-fil-a chicken bite and one box of the ziploc gallon size freezer bags i was out of these and decided to just go ahead and get the ziploc brand and buy a big box of it while i was at sam's today this was something new to me and we have shopped at sam's off and on multiple years I've never noticed if they have had it before, but normally they have flour in like 25 to 50 pound bags. This is the first time I've seen a 10 pound bag. I can make 10 pounds fit at my house. I cannot make 25 to 50 pounds fit, nor would I want to because I don't think we would use it that fast. Sometimes we would. This was one of those times I didn't think we could. So self-rising flour, 10 pound bag, 10 pound bag of granulated sugar, one bag of light brown sugar. This is a seven pound bag. This is a Thanksgiving stock up these two we're probably going to do a massive baking day soonish and we're going to freeze a lot of the bread that we don't eat immediately and then we can reheat muffins through the cooler months i also picked up one two pack of the flour tortillas um when i say two pack i think it's two 15 packs no it's two 20 packs 20 didn't it used to be 15 I don't know. I thought one time we got it 15. Maybe it was a different size. But the burrito ones this time were two for or two 20 packs. This was something new to us. I've never seen Lando Lakes anything other than butter before. We bought Lando Lakes pumpkin butter last week. This week at Sam's they had these cocoa packets. And we're pretty sure that means hot chocolate packets. <laughs> but there's one that says um, chocolate supreme, French vanilla, salted caramel, and chocolate or mint chocolate. And those just sound really good. So we're going to try those this week. I also bought one thing of brown gravy mix because the kids are starting to do some, um, a little bit more supervised cooking with doing some different recipes and things. And this was going to be something that they were going to learn how to do was learn how to make gravy. So I thought just for a first time thing to make it easier just to buy a mix because it also teaches them how to make it from mix and then that way if they want to make it from mix they can or if they want to make it from scratch they can although the from scratch is not too different from the way that you make it from the um, instant one pack of the bacon crumbles makes it so much easier to have those on hand for 
anything during the school year, but especially as we're coming up on holidays. Toffee truffles are a special treat for my husband who works really hard and I wanted to get that just for him. And then the pretzel crisps are for me for, because they're dark chocolate and they're pretzels. And they're really thin. They're not like the thick pretzels. They're like super thin. So it's kind of like a perfect little snack thing that may go disappear into my office right now. Last but not least of non-personal items that we are going to show in a haul because we don't show personal items in a haul. We're going to have one big bag of the five pound cuties that we're going to take to a uh, mom brunch slash kids play date picnic thing and then a five pound bag of Fuji apples. And that is it for our Sam's haul. Thank you to all of our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos. Thank you to every single one of you for liking, watching, positive comments, and subscribing. And we will see you next time. Bye.